we're gonna continue working at tearing this old barn down. Next thing on the list is to get the water shut off. I'm trying to figure out exactly where the water comes from. They do the same thing we did using an old 15 gallon drum. So we took these two waters off and both of them just have a single line coming in. So we're not really sure where they meet, where to plug it. We're gonna go get the neighbor's backhoe and see if we can dig some holes and find anything. Well, I'm having a really hard time digging into those stones. Just trying to figure out what they would have done. We know there's water over there at that hydrant. So it's someplace underground, the water lines meet and then run individually to the, the waterers. I'd like to find where that T is so we can stop it right there. Hey guys, so today we're trying to work at hooking our well up to the barn. It's a little stressful, but <clears throat> he came in with his track hoe this morning and caught some of these lines. We didn't realize how shallow they were, so we have to fix one of them or two of them and then try and figure out where the, the line that we need to connect to is. So just working at cleaning this up a little bit right now with the little backhoe. The big excavator's working out there making a trench. So I wish we had better records of exactly where everything goes, but uh, we soon found this whole bunch of pipes together. Call it this one. This goes out to a watering trough, so that we have off. That was the only thing we broke there, but then he also caught this and then yanked it out. Broke this coupler. I just cut this off. So Dad went to get parts to fix this little line and this PVC line. This line is the water that runs through the plate cooler which cools the milk during the milking. It's still clean water and then it runs out into the, there's a tank out there that has a big pump on it and then that pumps it to the watering troughs and to the wash down hoses and everything in the parlor. stainless steel couplers there so they won't corrode or anything now we just got to replace this PVC line so I'm sure some of you are gonna say why don't we have good records of where all these are so we don't hit stuff and yeah I agree with you we know now we're gonna get pictures I got videos of it so it should be easier in the future but we ended up finding the pipe we were looking for I was just digging down in here and that is the end of a three inch pipe they put in for another well if we ever wanted to add a well. That's what we were looking for when we dug and hit this stuff. So we, uh, I wish we knew it was over farther. We would have missed it all. So this is what we're actually going to connect it to. We're going to have to run that pipe out through. We're going to have to get a bunch of this removed so we can get to it better. We 
we're gonna get that unfastened and then this is made since we had, don't have the ability to move the pipe and slide it into a coupler we just slide this over top of the tow of them and it'll seal it up Dad wanted to turn the water back on. So this is not a pressurized pipe. It's just, uh, it just drains. It's gravity flows down to the, the tank out there. So right down there is our pipe end. So we're gonna wrap that around that way. We're just digging out a little bit more. Plumber's gonna come soon and tell us what exactly we should do, but we're getting this cleaned out a little bit. So once the plumber gets here, we talk to him, we're gonna start working at the trench from here over to back there is where we were working this morning. The excavator's been digging this trench out through here. It's a little bit easier going. It's gotta go about three feet deep and we don't have to worry about it freezing. We were able to dodge this water line. That line is what feeds the calf barn. Comes from a watering trough out in the meadow there. But he was having some trouble with some rocks in this pasture now. Looks like he's getting through it though. Big old rock right here. We'll just go around it. The well is just a couple hundred feet down there in the corner. So See if our plumber shows up soon. Uh, we're gonna try and bed the heifers again. I'm gonna use this Hoover spreader. So I was talking to the owner, he was saying it works a little better with corn fodder. Our bean stubble might be a little too tough. I'm gonna adjust this pressure valve and hopefully we can just get a little bit more power. And Gonna roll this hose the whole way out through. All right, hold it up. I'm gonna have to make it wider. Got that big reel in the trailer, works pretty good. It's about 800 feet, give or take. So we got some more trench to dig then. Just gonna cut this where we think we need it. We got the pipe all rolled out. The excavator's finishing at the other end and then he's gonna come up and trench up here. And I think dad's gonna help him then to uh, watch for a couple other water lines we have. We're gonna go and bed this heifer barn now.
can't quite go the direction you're supposed to go right off the bat, it kind of binds. But if I go the other way and roll it a little bit, loosen it up, then I can finish the rest of the way the right way and then it, it works good. So, I think it'd be better to have corn fodder bales for this, but it's easier than by hand for sure. <laughs> Thought it went a little bit better than the first time we used it. Good to have that barn bed up. Just push the feet in. So I'm gonna feed cows now. I'll probably pick this video up tomorrow morning. It's the next morning now. We're gonna work at getting this pipe set in today. So, the excavator's digging. He just has another 20 or 30 feet there to trench. Gotta watch for water lines that could be going through there, so it's kind of slow. Yesterday he was digging through and caught this conduit. This is wires. He didn't damage the wires at all, but the, the conduit broke. So we're gonna, well I'm gonna go ahead and clean that out a little bit and patch it up. The plumber said we could run our main water line over top of these. It's deep enough, but we decided it'll lay a little better if we just go underneath. So I'm gonna work at digging a little tunnel underneath those pipes then. And we wanna attach it to this line. I got my shop back, we get the stones out of this conduit. So I guess I'm gonna go get some spray foam. We just wanna make sure we keep water out of this pipe. We talked to the electrician and he said we actually don't want to put expanding foam in that pipe because if we ever want to pull the wires out it would be stuck in there and uh, water actually gets in them lines anyway because it condensates so he, he's not worried about it. We're just going to get two pieces of PVC and tape them together around the pipe so I got to go find this PVC pipe. I'm just going to use a piece of this black pipe, it's the right size. We'll cut one line down through and then fit it over top and put some tape on it. It's gonna use PVC, but we don't have the right size for this. Now I'm just going to wrap it up good with duct tape. Should be good here. We weren't sure if we were going to hit more water lines through this part and there wasn't anything. It's really good. He's all done with this trench. While this guy's here with the track hoe, we want him to try and dig for this water line at the old heifer barn that we want to stop. Guess we'll help him do this a little bit. We hit a line, but it does not branch off to this water trough. We're thinking it's the one that goes out through to the dry cow barn. That one we want to leave here. So we're thinking there must be a, another line, an older one must be under the concrete that goes to each of these water troughs. Maybe it even goes straight underneath them, I don't know. So we're going to get a concrete saw cut across. We want to keep some of this concrete and the rest we can tear out and he'll He'll pull some of that up and start digging. Thankfully we did not put a hole in that. So we're not sure if that line goes to the second half of the heifer barn or if it's for the dry cow barn. So like this barn was built about 10 years apart. First four pens and then they added these on later. 
So it's possible that line could run out front and then wrap into that watering trough. Yeah, I wonder if they added concrete when they did that. Yeah, and they like, did they have the a small? Yeah, that's how it was. So then the line's gonna be right I in there. I'm 100% sure. So that's the old truck. Oh. I like this size excavator. It's not too big, but it's yeah. still got some some power. Now we're thinking we're gonna find this line going along that old concrete there. There's actually a foundation wall right there on the outside of that old feed trough. Seems like a little bit of overkill, but I guess back in the 70s they wanted to build it right. So we're thinking that water line's actually on the inside of this wall. Gonna have to tear this apart and we'll find it in there. We're kind of thinking this line is probably the one that goes to the newer half of this old barn, and then there's a separate line for the this old part. He thinks it's out here besides. Oh, there, there, there it is. That's your main pipe down there. That's fed from somewhere else. So we plugged this spot hoping that this line was feeding the heifer barn and dry cow barn water doesn't work either. So we have to find a splice somewhere else. So all we down gotta do is plug this. Cut that one and plug it. And, and then we that should that be good. There yep, again. there it goes. Okay. So here it is. This comes off that main line out there. There's an elbow that goes in this, inside this wall down to the old two waters and then it comes the other way and back to the two waters back there. We're gonna fill this mess all back in now. It's good to have it figured out. The water stopped. Put a plug in there and I'm gonna fill this back in. We had cut this main line through there. We just put a joint back on it and that's good to go. Still need water to run for that hydrant right there at the corner of that building and then the water at the dry cow barn. It's like going back in time and trying to figure out the thought processes they were going through when they were building this stuff. And they changed some things when they added onto this barn with the water. They fed the water in from the opposite end and yeah, we had to figure all that out. It's at least good to know that we, uh, we know where the main water line is. Now we're going to work at laying this pipe in. This trench is all done. 
We want to get the pipe in place and then worry about getting this driveway filled back in so we can drive through again. Put some tape on the end of this line to keep the dirt out. Just got to drag it through and underneath these pipes. Underneath this electric. Dug a little tunnel through there. We're done at the, where they drilled the well. I'm gonna use some of this stone dust to protect the pipe up around the barns if we can. That's good. been a busy couple days trying to get this all set up and figured out but we are making progress for sure now so appreciate you guys watching we'll see ya